The summer sun was setting, casting long shadows across the quiet suburban neighborhood. Inside a cozy two-story house, two friends, Alex and Ben, were enjoying the last of their summer break. Alex's parents were away on vacation, leaving the boys to their own devices. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting the house in an eerie twilight glow, a sense of unease crept into the air. The house, once filled with the warmth of family life, felt strangely empty and isolated. The silence was broken only by the occasional creak of the old house settling or the rustle of wind in the trees outside. Ben, usually the more outgoing of the two, couldn't shake off the feeling that they were being watched. He kept glancing over his shoulder, half expecting to see a pair of glowing eyes peering from the shadows. Alex, sensing Ben's growing anxiety, tried to reassure him that it was just the spooky atmosphere, but even he couldn't shake the feeling that something was not quite right. As the night deepened, the tension in the house grew. The shadows seemed to dance more ominously, and the silence was punctuated by strange noises that could have been anything from the wind to the old plumbing. Ben's imagination was running wild, conjuring up images of lurking monsters and malevolent spirits. Alex tried to distract Ben with their favorite video game, but even the familiar characters and settings couldn't dispel the growing sense of dread. The house felt like a prison, trapping them in the darkness with an unseen presence. Just as they were about to give up and call it a night, a loud bang from upstairs sent them both scrambling to their feet. Their hearts pounding in their chests, they cautiously crept up the stairs, their footsteps echoing in the silence. The source of the noise was a window in Alex's bedroom. It was ajar, and a cold breeze was blowing through, carrying with it the scent of damp earth and something else. Something foul and unsettling. Alex's breath caught in his throat, as he noticed fresh claw marks on the windowsill. They were long and jagged, as if something with razor-sharp claws had tried to get inside. Ben's eyes widened in terror. He had heard stories of creatures that prowled the woods at night, creatures that preyed on the innocent and helpless. Could this be one of them? The two friends stood frozen, their fear paralyzing them. The house seemed to come alive around them, the shadows whispering threats, the floorboards creaking ominously. They felt like prey trapped in a hunter's lair. Suddenly, a low growl echoed from the hallway. It was a chilling, animalistic sound that sent shivers down their spines. Their eyes met in shared fear, and they knew that they had to get out of the house. They ran down the stairs, their footsteps echoing in the silence, their hearts pounding in their ears. They burst out of the front door and into the cool night air, not daring to look back. They ran until their lungs burned and their legs ached, until they were far away from the house and the darkness that had held them captive. They collapsed onto the grass, gasping for air, their bodies trembling with fear. As they looked back at the house, it stood there in the distance, dark and menacing, a silhouette against the night sky. They knew that they would never forget the terror they had experienced that night, the feeling of being hunted and trapped, the fear that had nearly consumed them. The house, once a place of comfort and safety, now held a dark secret, a memory they would carry with them forever.